Hi everybody. Um, I also have a bit of a live code as well, so I hope I don't uh, have similar <laughs> issues. <laughs> um, okay, uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, Phases of .io, which is a HTML5 game framework. I'm not a game developer. We don't make games in RTE. I just found this library, thought it was so easy, I just had to share it with everybody. Um, that's my Twitter handle if anyone wants to follow me. Um, um, so, so what is Phaser.io? Phaser.io is a HTML5 game um, fra framework, as I mentioned. It's uh, fast, free, and most of all, it's fun. So I highly recommend using it if you want to have a bit of crack with it. Um, it uh, it's for using making games in Canvas and WebGL. It's mobile first, it's open source, and it's very actively maintained. It has a ton of stars on GitHub. I highly recommend checking out the GitHub page and seeing how actively maintained it is. Um, so why use something like Phaser if you're making a game? Well, as I said before, it's very easy to use. And it's really the whole kind of ethos of the whole thing is basically you want to actually focus on building the game, that's what developers should do, rather than building an engine. And wh what I mean by that is, you, like, Phaser has stuff like animations built in, it has the physics engines built in, you can use multiple physics engines, which includes, like, a lot of colli collision detection, all that kind of difficult stuff with physics is actually already handled for you. It handles input, it handles keyboard, touch events, it's mobile first, so it'll always handle touch events first. It um, handles stuff like audio and it handles, like, game states, so, for example, welcome to the game, the actual game, game over, high scores, all that kind of stuff. So what I'm going to do is actually going to make a quick game here. Well, we're not going to make it in, in live time. I'm just going to show you a bit of code and talk you through some of the great features of Phaser. So um, first of all, I'm going to show you um, a basic HTML page, which just the only thing you really need to look at here is the thing that says div ID game. That's where a game is going to actually live. Um, I've loaded in um, Cloudflare, I'm sorry, um, uh, Phaser over CDN, and I've got my game.js. So I'm just going to jump in here. Uh, there's a few things at the top there. Don't worry about them, just a few uh, defaults. Um, the main thing to look at here is the window that on load. So I'm going to create a new phaser game by saying phaser um, phaser game function. I'm going to pass in a width and a height, which is the um, is the viewport width and height. I'm going to pass it into my div ID game, and I'm going to pass in um, three callback functions, which are the kind of default functions for phaser. There's preload, which is a function where you preload all your assets, your images, your sound. You can have a preloader and stuff in there, so you know when your game's ready to go. You've got your create function, which takes all these assets and actually puts them into your game, and then you've got your update function. Not a lot of times so I'm not going to into the update function. It basically goes every couple of milliseconds, so it just keeps your game going. But uh, we don't need it for this demonstration. So if I jump down to my uh, preload function, which is here, uh, this is pretty much where you kind of set up your game, preload everything. So I'm just going to set the stage color to a, a blue. I'm going to load in a picture of a ball, and I'm going to load in a kick sound. Then I'm going to get into my create function, which Phaser will call next. And it's going to basically, I'll get into physics now in about, in about one minute. But basically what this is going to do is it's going to start a physics engine in the background. And it's going to basically tell that, that physics engine not to check collisions for the bottom of the screen. We'll get into that in a second. And I'm going to add my kick sound to the stage. And I'm going to add a, a score text box that basically just tracks the score. Then I'm going to call an add ball function. And what the add ball function is, it's just going to drop a sprite on the, on, on the page with height 100. That's pretty much it. So I'm just going to see how this looks. So I see that just literally puts a ball on the screen, score zero. This doesn't do anything. I'm not impressing anybody right now. Um, <laughs> so I'm just going to move on, and I'm just going to kind of progress the game a tiny bit, right? So in my add bo ball function, I actually want this ball to do something, right? So if you kind of go below the code I just showed you, you can see a line here, ball that input enables equal to true. So that basically tells Phaser that, that ball, you can click on it, you can tap on it. And then I've got an event underneath that says on input down. So that's tap or click on desktop. And it says play the audio, the kick sound, and it says increment the score, and then update that text box with the score. So now if I run this latest version of the code, you probably can't hear this. Let me just bump this up. But uh, basically, if I click that ball now, you'll see the score increments. And basically, it actually plays the sound. You probably just can't hear it right now. Um, so obviously that's the most boring game in the world. I just showed you. No, no one, no one, gives, no one, no one's going to be going onto the, onto the app store and paying you loads of money for that, like you know. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make things interesting with everybody with a, a bit of physics. You know, everyone likes a bit of physics. Um, again, the reason why phases are so great is because the physics stuff is so simple in this. It just does it all for you. It's great. So I'm just going to jump in here to these kind of lines here, if anyone can actually see these, by the way. Um, and I'm going to say um, game.physics.enable ball. So I'm telling Phaser that that ball actually has a bit of physics attached. I'm going to set a bounce on it, and I'm going to set a bit of velocity. And I've set the speed already up the top to 200. So what that's going to do is that's going to start dropping that ball. And I'm also going to say collide with world bounce. That's going to let me know any time it hits off a wall. And I'm also going to say check world bounce. And that's going to say that if it does hit a wall, let me know that it hit a wall so I can actually do something with that. So if I go down to my um, click event again, uh, so I'm already playing the sound, and um, also what I'm adding in here is I'm going to flip the velocity. So the ball's dropping, but when I click on that ball, it's going to move in the opposite direction. I'm also going to increment the speed to make this an actual game and not just a thing where you click a ball. So final version of my game is 
is this. So you can see the ball's dropping out of the velocity. When I click on that, it moves in the opposite direction. Score increments, it does play a sound as well. The more I click it, the faster it gets. And as you can see, it's bouncing off the balls, and that's phaser basically saying, okay, it's hit the wall, go the opposite direction. And if I let the ball fall, it jumps up and it says, thank you, um, you scored 10. And you can see that line just down the bottom there, which just says, uh, I have um, a function here saying, uh, out of world bounds. So that just says, if it goes out of bounds, let me know. Again, every time it hits the wall, it'll let me know so I can create events and functions. I can react to whenever it hits off these things. Okay, so final slide. Um, So you can play it at yourself, orte.e slash kickups. You can see how <laughs> you, 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 can try and beat me, you can try and beat my score. Um, so you can play it at yourselves, and you can see how it works on phones. As I said, it's completely uh, mobile responsive. Like As you build a game, you're building it for a game. The bonuses, it works on desktop, not the other way around, which is great. Thank you very much, guys.